Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Sylvia and I make videos on planning with the occasional review. Today's video is going to be a review of notebook therapy. If you didn't know, notebook therapy is a new shop that I have seen around for the last um, couple of months. I first saw it on Instagram and then some people, one person in specifically, thank you, um, suggested that I try it out when I did my video on the Daldi pen pouch as well as the Angu pencil pouch or utility pouch. Um, I was having the struggles with the fact that the Tombow markers, which are much taller, didn't fit in this pen pouch. I was devastated because I wanted one just full of Tombow markers. So that wasn't going to happen. And I ended up getting this one on the side to see which one I liked best. This one actually does fit Tombow markers in it very nicely. So I decided that the combination of the two worked the best for me. It also works really well, again, as a utility pouch because you can put things in here um, like your tape runner and bigger things that you don't need to have a stand up like this guy. So somebody had suggested trying out notebook therapy since they do have pen pouches as well and that they were taller. So that's why I ordered from this company. I ended up ordering three things from this company, but two of them shipped separate from uh, the third. So if uh, that comes in before I get a chance to upload this and edit this video, I will tack it on to the end. If not, I'll do a separate video um, for that. And I just ordered a bag, which I thought was really, really cute. So <laughs> let's start with the uh, thing that I liked the most and the thing I liked least we will do last. So these are bullet journal tracking stamps and it's just this awesome set that cost $37.98. Now this was like Jenga, you guys, and I could not fit these things back together to save my life. So <laughs> uh, you can see that there's just two out here. Um, I think at some point I will go ahead and take out the tinier stamps and put them in their own little plastic container or something um, and keep the bigger ones in here. And it's no fault of the company. It was beautifully packaged. It all look like it was one big block like you could take the whole thing out and stamp it it's just um, some of these smaller stamps um, the diameter is different some of them are wider than others and if you put two wide ones together it doesn't work out and I don't have the patience to get it together to figure it out so <laughs> I didn't but I did go ahead and stamp these for you guys and I will show you those and then it came with free stickers which I love freebies who doesn't love freebies this is still my favorite popsicle not just in my childhood but even today I love it look at that cup of ramen noodles that's hilarious so I stamped the smaller stamps and they're right here and y'all know that I am the world's best stamper but I like the idea of this set because it seemed like it had everything you would need if you've never bought any stamps before if you've never been into bullet journaling before and you want to get into it it seemed like this was the you know perfect set where you have weather you have a couple of different trackers you have a habit tracker and then like a regular tracker um, something for money you're to do this has monday through sunday there um, word of the day notebook therapy which i thought was really cute uh, a calendar and even a place here where you can just um, use this as um, i don't know you could just write whatever you wanted in here and i ended up um, yeah, I stamped that one too, so I will show you what I did with that, but the to-do list was really, really cute. I decided to stamp on a blank piece of paper so that you could see them a little bit better. Um, I was trying to do this in a hurry, so I didn't bother wiping the edges. If you do, it's not going to be an issue to have that access um, stamping on there, but I'm a lazy planner. I was like, I'm just going to do this quickly. <laughs> so let me show you the bigger stamps. So here you can see how I kind of filled them out. And of course, you can use these smaller stamps here to put inside the weather, which I think is really cute also. You also can use the smaller stamps over here um, to put inside your habit tracker. So I think on the website what they use is this little um, tea stamp. I had to get it to focus <laughs> on the website for bubble tea and they use that right in here for the habit tracker so you can certainly use all of these little stamps for different things which I think is really cute 
Um, I was trying to figure out how this looked against grid paper because that's what I use. And sometimes if things don't line up properly on grid paper, it drives me crazy. I think these stamps would look really nice on the plain paper, as you can see here. The blank sheet, I should say. Or probably if you had dot grid, but certainly... Um, they still work on the grid just fine. Here I put it at an angle just to kind of show you the difference. These lines are not exactly five millimeter because that's what kind of grid this is. I would say maybe five and a half or six millimeter. It was really, really nice. I loved these stamps so much. So this is definitely something I would absolutely recommend to anyone, whether you have already been bullet journaling for a while or not. I think that this was a really, really great find. As for the second thing that I ended up purchasing, it was a pencil case, much like the Daldi pouch. It has a faux leather top, and then it has a, what they're calling soft cord or corduroy on the bottom. And that just fell, I don't know what that was. Anyway, um, corduroy is one of my favorites. I love corduroy material. It brings me back to my childhood. And it also reminds me of an episode of The Big Bang Theory when Sheldon sends home his uh, assistant. I don't know if you remember that episode or not, because she was wearing corduroy pants and it was making too much noise. <laughs> and it just reminded me of when I used to wear corduroy, definitely. It was a big thing in the 90s also when I was um, in junior high slash high school. So I, I really have a lot of love for corduroy. So I was really excited. They have two different... Um, I don't know what you would call them, two different choices. Uh, you have like the darker corduroy and then the lighter corduroy. I went, of course, with the darkest one I could get, which I believe is called charcoal gray. So this is set up much like the Daldi. Um, on the inside, there is this very um, satiny kind of material that you can see also right there. And the Daldi has similar material very um, black satiny and if you pull this up you can see that it's connected the same way so I was very excited about that however in the Deldi there is a piece of cardboard or stiffener down here at the bottom that allows for it to uh, stand on its own this one by um, the notebook therapy does not. You can see that there. It's very soft. Now it does feel like it has a stiffener, but this one bends and it's not uh, as stiff as this guy. Like this one, I, I can't bend it. So when it came time for me to fit the Tombos in here, I believe that there's 16 in here right now, and you can see that there's plenty of space for more. I was so excited because it absolutely zips up with the Tombos inside. So I was like <laughs> very happy with that. However, when it comes time for it to stand on its own, you know, there's these little flaps on the side that you pull down just like on the Dolby. That happens. Can you stand it? <laughs> so I thought, well, maybe because they're so tall, they're too tall. Um, to stand on their own and if I put you know shorter or smaller things in here it will stand on its own I've done this ten times in a row it's not going to happen too short I'd need something taller to um, stand it against possibly well like haha there you go so if you play around with it um, it might be okay if you have something behind it it is what it is so I was very, very disappointed in that. So let's just take out the Tombos, shall we? Let's do that. And you can see that it doesn't stand on its own whether they're in there or not. So it's not the Tombos, that's the issue. And I will tell you right now, maybe if I play with the bottom a little bit, on their website, I will try to insert some pictures here. They do show this standing on its own. So there it is, standing on its own. Give a shout out to a friend who sent me these. I really appreciate them. Thank you so much. It was so sweet and such a surprise. Um, I don't want to give people's names because I don't know if they want people to know their names. But I appreciate you. Thank you. So with these guys in there, these are the Zig Clear Color Dots. 
and I played around with them and they were awesome. They kind of stand in there, but not the Tombos. And it is very much like, it seems like it's top heavy. Um, no matter whether the, the marker or pen is top heavy or not. It's like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Look at that. You kind of have to play around with the bottom, kind of mold it, which I don't have to do with the Doll D pouch. So I'm really going to play with this some more. I think it's important to let you know that because I have been bombarded with uh, ads for this specific company. And I love it when they do give me ads because I wouldn't find certain companies if not for things like that. So it, it's great, but uh, I just, I kind of expected more. So you see how you kind of have to play with it and it's sitting on its own, but it's not as sturdy as the Dull D. So you have to kind of work with it. Um, oop, that just came off. I would be concerned that if I had this on a desk and I was just taking things in and out, putting them in, you just have to be a little bit more cautious than I've had to be with this guy. Um, this guy just, you know, it works perfectly. It takes shape. I don't have to, like I could just, look at that. It's not going to fall over. Whereas this one, I mean, it's not as stuffed, so that could be an issue also, but you kind of have to maneuver things. And I don't know the percentage, but I'm going to say seven out of 10, at least it's going to fall over. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. Just be aware. It's still a beautiful pouch. It still holds pens or, you know, Tombos and you can still take it with you on the go. Gorgeous. But that's not the issue. The issue is I wanted something that could stand on its own and, you know, seven out of 10 times so far, it hasn't. And I already had this that does the same thing, you know? <laughs> it doesn't stand up the Tombos, so I really didn't need this. But, you know, whatever. It was good because I still found this, which I think is an incredible find and I highly recommend. And I'm hoping that I'm going to enjoy two out of three things once the uh, bag gets here. Okay, so I'm just going to tack this on to the end of the video. I hurt my hand doesn't matter how it's hurt <laughs> and I won't know more until I go to the doctor but I cannot adjust my uh, camera uh, stand by myself and I'm home alone and this is the time I have to film this so this came in today about three days after I filmed the video it is beautiful it is a very very black beautiful color uh, because the light from the window is right here it might look a little bit more of a charcoal color but it's it's a true black it's beautiful so i brought over here an a5 loistrum to kind of show you um how large this bag is very nice so you could fit a whole another loistrum here and then two on top and carry four in this bag for sure um it has handles here so you can carry it more like a tote bag or um a longer a strap here that's adjustable so you can carry it like a purse and a zipper which is exactly why I chose to get this a lot of times when I get a tote bag I put it on the ground it doesn't have a lot of structure this one doesn't either um, things fall out of it so I really appreciate that there is a zipper to help <laughs> from that happening so down here in the bottom there is a little bit of a stiffener in the bottom um, but not not like oh my arm sorry <laughs> Okay, so in here, you can see that I can fold and bend it, and uh, it's it's not really that stiff or that thick at all, so it's not going to have a lot of structure, and I'm okay with that. Usually, tote bags are just made out of canvas, and that's about it. So over here on both sides, there's a pocket, and uh, they're very long, so you could fit something in there, or you could hook on pens if you want to. They go all the way down to the bottom of the bag, and then, of course, there's wordage here. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> there's that. And then on the back, it's just plain. And I'm going to pause so I can open this with both my hands. Okay, so on the inside here, you have a pocket. So you can put your phone or something and it's easy to find. Um, and then the rest is just an open bag. It does come in a couple of other different colors. And of course, there are a lot of options, but... I think this is going to be a great bag to take to the library with me when I want to return books or pick up a bunch of books, uh, stuff like that. I think this is really, really nice.
So, final thoughts on this company. Um, I like two out of three things. I do like, of course, this as well, but it doesn't do what I want it to do, which is stand on its own without being ridiculous. So, that was kind of a negative, but I do really love these two products. Um, sometimes, you know, new companies, it's touch and go. So, there is that. All right. So, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.